if you have sell your product to the party and after some days if you receive payment in cash so how you will record this kind of entry in tally prime i am going to tell you in this video namaste dosto hello friends this is suman sharma welcome back to my channel suman education hub english if you sell your product to any registered party and after some days you receive payment in cash so how you will record this entry we will see in the today's video so from gateway of tally press b and from the right hand side you need to select sales voucher so that i can show you how you will be record first sale entry and after that we will see how you will uh, record cash payment so when you receive so from gateway of tally press b from the right hand side select sales voucher and press app to change date in which date you have sold your product now you have to select your buyer's ledger from the right hand side you can see there is showing list of ledger if ledger is already created you can select from here if ledgers is not created so from here by pressing control c you can create your new buyer's ledger so i have already created buyer's ledger so i am going to select my buyer's ledger from list of ledger so i am going to select here shiv trading company you can select your buyer's ledger from here and in sales account you can select sales ledger now name of item you have to select name of item if there is already created stock item you can select from list of stock item if there is a new product you are going to sold so by pressing control c you can create a new stock item from here you can see there is a window you can create from here i am going to sold machine so i am going to select machine product and in quantity column you can select how much quantity you are going to sell so i am going to sell machine five quantity at the rate of 1500 and after that i am going to apply tax if you sells to local area apply output cgst output sgst if you sells interstate so apply igst sales taxes and ledger over there now let me show you party ledger so click on go to option and i'm going to open party ledger click on go to option and from here we will open ledger reports and then ledger voucher from here i'm going to open shiv trading company ledger so that i can show you the entry just we have passed out that entry will show over here so let's open shiv trading company ledger now you can see there is a one sale entry is showing just we have passed amount is 7500 rupees after some days party make payment in the cash so how you will record that cash payment in tally prime so from here you have to press control plus a new voucher will be open so from the right hand side you have to select receipt voucher why receipt voucher because we are going to receive payment and in business if we receive anything so we have to record that entry in receipt voucher so i have selected receipt voucher and by pressing f2 you can change date in which date you are going to receive payment doesn't matter that will be in cash or in bank so there is a important to change the date before recording entry let me tell you the theory of entry which ledger will be debit and which ledger will be credit so uh, debit the receiver and credit the giver so who will receive amount that ledger will be debit and who will give that ledger will be credit there is shiv trading company is giving so shiv trading company will ledger will be credit and cash ledger is receiving so cash ledger will be debit so here shiv trading company will be credit with rupees 7500 rupees and cash ledger will be debit with rupees 7500 rupees now you can see shiv trading company first we have sold to the 7500 rupees amount and after that we have received payment in cash so the ledger is nil 7500 rupees cash uh, debit and 7500 rupees in credit side so this is how you can also record sale entry after that and after some days if you receive payment in cash so you have to record something like this as i show you in this video 
let me delete cash payment entry so that i can show you second condition in second condition if you sold your product to the party and party make the payment after some days in your current bank account so how you will be receive payment in your current bank account i'm going to tell you so i have deleted cash receipt payment entry now here we will receive payment in our bank so from here you have to press control a so that voucher can be add and you can receive payment in bank so before recording entry let me uh, discuss about the theory of the entry which ledger will be credit and which ledger will be debit here we are going to receive payment in our bank party ledger will be credit and our bank ledger will be debit there is a golden rule of account debit the receiver and credit the giver this rule is apply on this so we have selected receipt voucher from the right hand side and you have to change date in which date you will receive payment you mark the date and here we will credit to the party so shiu trading company will be credit with rupees 7500 against reference you can select against which reference against which invoice you are going to receive the payment and bank ledger will be debit if you have not created your bank ledger so by pressing control c you can create your bank ledger from here and you can continue your entry so bank ledger will be debit because uh, bank is going to be receive payment so debit the receiver rules is applying over here so bank ledger will be debit with rupees 7500 now the entry is done you can save the entry by pressing control a your entry will be saved if any uh, bank related information you can provide over here if you have received payment through check so you can provide your instrument check number if you have received payment through any ft so you can provide any ft details over here and save this entry so this is how you can uh, receive the payment in cash and you can receive payment in SBI if you have sold to the your buyers and your buyers make the payment in cash so how you will record cash entry if your buyers will make the payment in your bank so how you will re receive payment in bank i have told both ways in one video so you can also do accounting like this i hope this video help you out if this video will help you out so please like share and subscribe to my channel suman education hub english i have one more channel in hindi language name suman education hub you can search if you want to learn accounting in hindi language and or in english language it's totally up to you i have both channel hindi and english thank you and keep watching